February, February rather, we welcomed attorney and UCLA professor Keith Fink onto the show. He told us about how his school is bent on stamping out conservative beliefs wherever they see them, including in his classroom. Watch. UCLA is a microcosm of the macrocosm. They continuously and consistently trample students' rights. They abuse the law, they twist the law, they send out these interim emails which either chill speech uh, uh, that they don't like, uh, or they actually punish students that run afoul uh, of, of these types of policies that, that don't conform to their liberal ideology. Have things improved since then? We like to keep up with these stories. Well, according to Professor Fink, they have not. Now he says the school is trying to fire him. Professor Fink joins us now. Professor, thanks for coming on. So there's a petition signed by some of your students that says this. UCLA has taught us to fight injustice wherever it rears its ugly head. We will not sit idly by and watch a beloved professor have his teaching career discarded in a politically motivated and morally bankrupt fashion. Is your career being destroyed by UCLA? My teaching career is being destroyed. It's being yes. destroyed at UCLA. I've had other schools reach out uh, to offer me teaching uh, positions, but I'm a UCLA alumnus, and the one school I want to teach is the school where I spent my formative years. And they are doing everything they can to fire me. And, uh, and uh, let me just tick off for you what has happened since uh, I came on your show two months ago. Yesterday they held a meeting in secret, which uh, the meeting can only be described as something akin to a modern-day star chamber. I was not allowed to come to the meeting, to state my, uh, my, my reasons for wanting to teach at the school uh, and to address any questions or concerns the committee had. But worse than that, the person who did the single most important uh, 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 thing that goes into the com a committee's decision was someone who was biased. Part of the evaluation process is there has to be a faculty member sit in the class and do a review. Right. They asked me at the beginning of the process who was biased. I told them who was biased. And who did they choose? Somebody that was biased. Now why did they do that? Because if you had anybody sit in my class and listen to the way I taught, of course they would conclude I was excellent and then some. Secondly, I then asked the university if those who are biased against me on the committee would follow basic notions of due process and fairness and recuse themselves from the vote yesterday. What was I told? No, UCLA does not have a policy whereby one who is, un, who is prejudiced or biased right. will recuse himself. Third, those that are on the committee are unqualified. And if you can believe UCLA's own policies say when you have a, an important review like this, you will make sure that there's somebody qualified to do the review. There was not a single person who was a lawyer. There was not a single person with any knowledge in free speech the First Amendment, or due process, so, which so is the subject you, matter let, I let teach. Let me stop you there. I've been following this case fairly closely, and at one point, it seems like the school solicited reviews of your class from kids who had not taken your class. Is that true? Well, they, I don't know how, of the 8,000 students who've taken my class, I don't know how they solic solicited. Uh, but you're correct. When I looked in my review file, uh, there is a review from a student that said, I don't know why you reached out to me. I don't know Professor Fink. <laughs> so is there anything, look, bottom line, you're one of a relatively small number of non-liberals on UCLA's campus. Do you have any recourse? Clearly the people who run the place don't like you. Your politics sound like they have something to do with it. What about donors? What about the board of the school? What about political figures in the state? Is there anything you can do to keep from getting bounced because you're saying things they don't like? Well, this is... Look, I, look they're gonna, they bounced me yesterday. We know this. This has been going on now for the last uh, uh, two quarters. The, the entire administration knows it. The board knows it. Between national news coverage, not a single person has reached out to try to speak with me. Now, what yeah. can people do? Uh, I'm really fighting this on principle. The principles I'm fighting for are very important to this country. It's free speech and due process. Uh, and, and so what can people do? Students are rallying in my support. Uh, students can fight uh, for me and fight for the principles I'm standing for. But most importantly, donors can stand up. Well, uh, and exactly donors right. should not contribute. Well, that's exactly. Donors should not contribute to schools, yeah. and even my school, if they won't comply with basic notions of due process and fundamental fairness. we got to go. We're out of time. The other thing we can do is defund this garbage, which the U.S. Congress pays for in large part. Professor Godspeed, keep us posted. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Next up, a sheriff whose county borders Mexico is not a fan of the border.